and welcome back. Today's video is going to be slightly different to the last few weeks where I've been doing a, uh, a WW weight related video. Not doing that for the next two weeks because it's my holiday. We're going to New York and today's all about what I'm packing. So here we go. So we're going over to Heathrow on Sunday so we're stopping overnight in Heathrow and then on the way back we're going to be stopping another night in Heathrow so I've got an overnight case along with my flight clothes and a set of clothes coming back in there and then I've got a small case on this bed for the overnight stuff so I've put two nights of underwear um, the usual sorts of stuff clothes and um, nightwear and toiletries got stuff ready for traveling down in for the um sunday and the flight bag is there so we'll come back and do that afterwards so back in this room again now this one is for the actual holiday so i've got the big case now i think it's absolutely disgusting these days um that you have to pay for each um, case that you take on on board in the hold you used to be able to get 23 kilograms of, on average a case each for each person so that'd be three cases all of 23 kilograms no you can't anymore you have to pay for it so we're going to put a case inside a case because I'm going to be buying loads while we're in New York and um, we were hoping to cram all of our luggage into one case, put that into the empty case, and then we've got an empty case to bring everything back in. That's the plan. Let's see if it works. So I've put things into piles. I don't pack for Glenn. I just pack for me and Archie. So I've got um, mine over there, Archie's under there. Oh, my bra, forget that. Underwear, nightwear, trousers umbrella because it's going to be raining bits and pieces in there camera bag um, medicines chargers um what do you call that cosmetics toiletries blah 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 in the case i've put an empty ikea bag for dirty laundry two sun hats not that we're going to need it and my trainers and then i'm going to fold these up we're going to fly uh, pack as light as we can so I can bring lots back. So let's see what it looks like when I've got this in. So I've got Archie's stuff in there and I've put, managed to get my jacket in but now I've got to get these in. Oh wish me luck because then Glenn's stuff's got to get in and the toiletry bag, the chargers that we'll need um, beforehand and my makeup. Oh wish me luck well I've got everything of mine and Archie's in um, apart from like I said before the toiletries the all the chargers um, anything that I'm going to be using beforehand but I want to have in New York and my makeup etc I'm only taking the bare essentials of makeup but I do want to take it so let me show you there we go so apparently Glenn, he's not taking much. He could fit it in his overnight bag. Or his flight bag, I should say. So I will keep you updated on that. So now, let's go and do the flight bag. So, plonk myself down in the spare room. And I've got Archie's flight bag, which is this bag. He likes to take it because he's got all these little collectibles on. Now I've just thought, because I usually put, he's got a trunky case, which he used to use, and in the trunky case it's a like a liner for it that I used to put all the word searches, the colouring books, the crayons, so then I could just get that out so he could have it up under his feet on the plane, but I can't find that anywhere. So I'm going to use one of my uh, backpacks and put that inside the bag that we can take off on the plane. So in that, I'm also going to put in his, my um, word search book as well, though it's just one bag basically for the plane. So 
I got Archie a word uh, crossword for clever kids. It's um, it'll quite like that. And I've also got us a word search book each, so we can do it. But we can sort of do it together, so that'll be nice. I'm going to put some pens in there, but I haven't got that upside upstairs, not upside. So I'm going to put that in the inside of this, and then I can put pens and. Um, and bits and bobs for Archie to to entertain him on the plane. We will have the um, seat back tellies, but you don't want them watching the telly all the time. I'm also going to put some snacks in. I'm going. I've got a few of these clear plastic bags, so I'm going to put some snacks in. So I'm going to put some pom bears in, some mini cheddars. I've got some of these chocolates um, and some dairy milk, and I've got Glenn a big bar of Galaxy. I don't know whether I'll be able to take on the plane, but we'll see. So that's the snacks that I'm going to put in the clear plastic bag. So might as well do that now, won't we? How many plastic bags? But then that can go in this um, this little bag as well. So that's that in there. I'm going to take my oh, Vonnie vlogs vlogging book, but that isn't in Archie's. Sorry. So yeah, I'm going to put that in. I'm going to sort some pens and um, uh, colouring crayons and things. Maybe get... Mind you, a bit old for colouring books now. I think what he'll take, to be honest with you, is his reading book. He's reading um, David Walliam's Awful Auntie at the moment. And um, his iPad. That's what happens when he's 10. I re used to love getting the colouring books and the sticker books and all that, but he's not interested anymore. It's a shame when they grow up so much. So, I'll put this bag in this bag. Yeah, that fits in really nicely. And then if he wants anything else, he can put that in there. So that's there. So then this is my flight bag. Again, Glenn does his own, but in Glenn's, I put all the electrical equipment. So the cameras, um, the iPads, um, my Kindle if I take it. But I'm taking, I'm reading at the moment, uh, the first of the Louise Pentland books. Um, so I'm really enjoying that so I'm going to take that on so I might not take my Kindle I might just take the book um, so this is my bag and in this bag my vlogging notebook where I've got all my notes and things that I'm going to uh, do for you um, so that needs to go in put that down there I've got my plasters I've got different types of plasters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put as much as I can into my flight bag and then it's less in that blooming case. I've got um, a, a bag. I always take one of the bags on, a, a reusable bag. Then I can put things, um, like I do with arches, I can put things in there and just have them by my feet. So I'll put the bag in. I've got arches spare sunglasses because we... <sighs> he always loses or breaks sunglasses so I've got a few pairs of spare ones I've only got I got them for Primark two pound a pair of sunglasses um, and they're, they're brilliant and it really doesn't matter then if it breaks or he loses them so I've got a few pairs of those and I'm going to take a spare tissues I will put some in Archie's bag actually so tissues in Archie's bag and tissues in mine I've got the obligatory plastic bag for liquids which I've got hand cream, some Savlon, um, my face moisturiser and any other sort of cream that we need to put on. I've got a little deodorant, so I'll pop that in there as well. I always think it's nice to freshen up when we're on the plane. Um, brush, and I've got my curling brush as well, which I'm going to put in again to save space in the case. Um, I've got my headphones so I can listen to the films with my headphones. They're much comfier, I think, than those ear ones that you put in. And I've got a pair of these slippers each for me and Archie. Got them again from Primark, really cheap. But because it's a long haul flight, it'll be nice to just be able to get our shoes off and um, then we, when we need to get up to go to the toilet or just have a wander around to rep to work our legs it's just something instead of shoes because it's uh, it's a long flight and we want to be comfy so i've got archie the toy story ones 
again from Primark and they were in the sale at £2 these soft bottom ones so they're really nice and comfy and I got me the Bambi ones um, Primark I think they're about £2.50 I can't quite remember it was a while ago when I got them but they'll easily fit in the bag and it's all for comfort isn't it I'm going to put um, what else oh, oh obviously the passports the um, all the flight details everything that we're going to need excuse me like that they're going in and my cleansing wipes along, along with my little oh I've got some little um, body creams oh, that's going to go in the main case so that's about it for now if I think of anything else I shall add it to it later but it has been a bit um, tricky trying to fit it all in I will let you know how Glenn goes on with um, putting it, all his stuff in but he is the last minute merchant so he'll be doing it right on the 11th hour basically um i hope you've enjoyed it it was a bit quick it's my first compact with me we didn't do it last year for florida um next year we're going to florida and i will be taking so much more but this year we're only going for a week and we just thought we'd pack light and then um we can bring lots back i've got so much i want looking forward to doing i want to go to sephora um from makeup i want to go bath and body works oh my god i love bath and body works i want to go there um we want to go to um the big um nintendo shop that's right archie wants to go to the big nintendo shop and just all sorts of souvenirs and things so that's what i want to do i want to bring lots back so um and i did think you know if archie needs a new pair of trousers they'll be cheap enough over there won't they so yeah so the next time i will see you it will be on our journey i'm going to start right at the beginning and do our flight our, our flight not our flight our drive to heathrow and of course the airport and then lots and lots and lots of new york i really hope you've enjoyed this short hectic video um, if you have, please press like. I really like to see that. I really like to see all you pressing likes. Um, and I would also love you to click subscribe and to hit the notification button. Then any time I, I post a video, you'll be the first to know. So for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.